Hi there. We have another week of fun experiments. For this week, there is a really cool experiment with glow sticks, if you happen to have them in the house, and color mixing. I'll be showing you how your kids can be making some really fun experiments with light. However, a couple of words of caution. I really recommend that an adult be supervising this. The reason why you hear a cracking sound when you break a glow stick is because there's a little tube, glass tube of hydrogen peroxide in there that is getting broken open. So <clears throat> the trick is you want to do this without your kids getting glass on them, even though we're going to break them open. <clears throat> nice safe alternative if you have hydrogen peroxide, you can use that. Also, of course, you should have a work surface area that is protecting stuff. The chemicals in glow sticks are not toxic, but they are oily and they are kind of stinky. So, you get yourself a glow stick, carefully <coughs> cut it open, and if you haven't broken the glass tube that's inside it, fantastic. Make sure it stays unbroken, if at all possible. I'm going to see if I can do this without the glass tube contents. Oops, see, this is why you need a work surface. Okay, apparently the hydrogen peroxide in this thing is on the and the other tube. Oh dear. The glass tube has the stuff I'm interested in. Okay, so we'll have to have a slight change of plans perhaps. Let's see what happens when I put a little hydrogen peroxide in this. Hopefully nothing will explode. Yep, that's just that's just hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> no big deal. So this particular one, I'm going to have to unfortunately demonstrate how to safely break them. I really recommend having thick gloves on and some kind of container to put it in. And then hopefully I have another uh, container where it'll be behaving the way I expect. Ugh. All right. Here goes nothing. Carefully trying to break the tube. <clears throat> and of course little glass fragments going places. Not fun. Dispose of glass fragments. Uh-huh. But As you will see in a moment, we do have a glow in the dark. Bring it on in so everybody can see. All right, that's what happens when you mix the uh, color contents with the hydrogen peroxide and now I'm just going to dispose of that. <clears throat> really handy by the way I wouldn't worry about trying to clean up per se that is I wouldn't you be using glassware or anything that you want to keep um, doing this lab. I'm doing I'm doing it entirely with things that I can simply throw away. So let's try one of my other sources here, and hopefully this will work out a little bit better. Mm. All right, we'll try a bit of red. Red is empty. some green. 
green. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this one is the way I'm expecting it. Okay. Possible, of course, that I'm misremembering from last year which chemicals were in which tube. It appears that the funky chemicals are the one that's in the glass tube. That's regrettable. But still, you can play around with it. Um, you can, of course, be breaking the glass inside the plastic and then carefully dumping everything out. Uh, let's see. Carefully pour the contents into that one. Okay. We should put on the gloves just to be sure. So I've taken it out of one glass tube so I can plastic tube so I can put it in a different plastic tube. <clears throat> Not working very well. Let's see what happens. Definitely helps to have a good work surface. Oof. I'm gonna have to wash these pliers off. Okay, and there's even enough residual hydrogen peroxide in here that the glow stick immediately starts glowing. So have ourselves a nice little tube of glow-in-the-dark chemicals. It looks blue on camera, but don't worry, it is actually green. Well, we're going to do a tube of blue for comparison, and then we're going to mix them. So, there we have a nice crystal clear tube of, trust me, green fluid. All right. How well can you see right now? Oh, well, the camera can see just fine. There, does it look green now? Uh, it's just a pale blue. Pity. All right, well, let's see what happens when we do real blue. Camera, let's camera go ahead and pause. Colors. <clears throat> I assume you can pause with that. No, 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 you can't pause a video. You can stop recording and then record again. Are you still recording then? Yeah. Okay, keep in mind, parents are going to be hearing you. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> so, you might want to introduce your snarky self if you're going to be snarky. Hello, I'm the snark for today's video. I'm your content of sarcasm, and all the sarcasm you will ever need in life. Okay, so... <clears throat> slightly safer way of doing this, since we've established <clears throat> that I can't get at the chemicals I want. Just break things in the tubes as they are supposed to be. Are you sure about that? <clears throat> yeah, it's supposed to break, but hey, <clears throat> I can always help it along. <clears throat> there we go. That looks very blue. And, <clears throat> and it's an even darker blue in reality. Okay. I swear, I swear we're actually using colors here. Okay. We're well, not lying. <clears throat> where it gets really fun. These things are not the actual... What you see are not the actual colors. <clears throat> but the point is they are seeing different colors, yes? Yes, they are two different colors, very, very clearly. Alright, so I'm carefully... 
The blue looks like the blue milk from Star Wars, just glowier. Blue milk from Star Wars. Death sticks. Okay. You've so. made death sticks. Oh, the cup's glowing on the outside now. Yep. So, you can uh, get a view of that. Now, what's really fun is when you have multiple chemicals. Unfortunately, we ran, apparently ran out of red, but let's see what happens when we mix blue and green. Explosion. Please be an explosion, please be an explosion. Ah, uh, it doesn't explode. It's, see? It's so. Still looks like the green one. Just, uh, I think it looks on camera a bit more white now. It's just paler. Okay, well. Now the cup's just radioactive. <clears throat> so show everybody that. It, 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 it's quite bright. It's radioactive. Stay, stay away from the Chernobyl. That's Chernobyl. Anyway, that is a possible activity that you can be doing with your kids if you happen to have some glow sticks still around. Um, they're a lot of fun to have. But... Like, as I've been demonstrating, you do have to be careful. There is bits of glass involved, and it is kind of messy. Uh, I'm very glad I created a work surface. And I'm looking forward to seeing the results. Thank you.